here. No problem. Well, no, my last name is Cutter, so. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> the first person that. You're the second person that told me that. The first person that told me that was my first ever boss. When I went into a plastic job, he was like, Cutter, that's a badass name. <laughs> Levi, do you still want to take a break or do you want to play? Guess where we're waiting. Do you have any other sets? What's up, gamers? Oh yeah, the Bear Lucas. That is the uh, the Vermont Classic. <laughs> oh, that's the Fox Classic, the House Smash. <laughs> Real quick, Joey took game one. I didn't see who just won that. Uh, Joey. Okay. Took game one. Yeah, this is actually like a pretty decent counter pick. Um, FD? Lucas spot. Well, Lucas. Well, yeah. No. <laughs> I'd say so. Oh no, Lucas going to FD without without a doubt. That's his best stage bar none. Is it? Yeah. Well, if you're good at footstool combos, Lucas gets infinite footstool combos here. True. Pretty much. Um, and otherwise, um, it just makes his zoning game a little bit better. I was gonna say yeah, they can't use platforms to jump over wave bounce, wave bounce, PK fire, and right? With that. And not only that, but also like against Fox, um, him having platforms to shark is very important. Yes. Also, a thing that people don't really um. I don't really like understand about Lucas and don't and like forget about is that he's a character that doesn't really have a lot of vertical range and it's up air kind of sucks. Yeah, it sucks. It hitboxes so bad. And so because of that, and not a lot of vertical speed because he's floating. Yeah. And so because of that, um, platform camping Lucas is a great way to beat him. <laughs> like, you can stand on top of him on a platform and just kind of like he can't do anything. It's, it's reactively like avoidable most of the options he has vertically, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he had the air dodge read there. He just didn't position himself mm -hmm. properly. Oh. Yeah, I think Bear, as a Lucas, goes for too much down air. He does not go for enough back air, which is just kind of a better move. Back air is a great move. Like, if he went for down air there, he could have just gone for like, back air. That is very true, actually. No, you pointed like, that out. That was good timing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got? I'm sure oh. against Fox, you could also, like, maybe do a falling neutral air and possibly trade with the W. You, you have a lot uh, of options. Yeah. Down throw. Ooh, the weak back air almost doing it. Um, a little bit nice. off in his timing. Is that true? Oh, yeah, that's true. Damn. 
Although, I, I'm not sure how much healing away will change it. It definitely changes the spacing that Lucas has to do. Oh, almost the brain blast. Oh. Okay, we got an air up tilt. Oh, no tech. Oh, he could get that vortex gone. What do we got? Oh, oh brain blast. Okay, yep, that'll do it. <laughs> that, that is such a huge range. You don't realize. Yeah. It's the other, like, like the other crazy thing about Lucas is that his his grab as far as pivot, as far as tether grabs go is very 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 oh, good. Oh, absolutely, it's so it's strong. By far the best one. Not even because of its range, because it doesn't have big range, but just like um, it, it the the frame data is surprisingly really good. Oh yeah, I could I was trying to whip punish it as Bale, and I just yeah, no, I was can't failing. It. Oh, that's it. Oh, it's best of five. No, no, it's best of five. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What? Yes, <laughs> Joy Band Lilat, but he never does that. <laughs> Alright, well, he's got a 2 0 lead. It's been relatively convincing. Yeah, I'd say so. This matchup um, is a little rough for Lucas, is the thing. No, I'm a little surprised we're not seeing a counter pick. Yeah, he, um, he has a cloud. We haven't seen the cloud come out, no. Yeah, that's slightly favorable for Fod, I think. Just because Cloud gets free dare on Fox up here, stuff like that. Did we see who beat um, Baron Winners? Oh no, this is Winners. Why does it say losing percentage? This is. Oh, sh this winners? is Winners? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. Nice. Let's go Baron Joey Jenks. <laughs> winners semis, they're going in, man. Yeah. And, uh. Yeah, so on the other side in Winners, we actually. That's off stream. We see Rocky and Kid Cooper playing. That's been going on for a long time. Yeah, that's how Pac Man sets go. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've taken note of this. <laughs> if it so like it's funny I was playing some melee um a little while ago and it was, the, the matchup oh, that was being played, see like that you can't punish that grab with like stuff like up smash yeah oh but oh there you go you do that <laughs> yeah um so the what was I saying oh yeah so the matchup that was being played just that I was watching was um, Marth versus Samus okay and this Marth versus Samus game went very very long for a melee game it took like five minutes which is Jeez. you know very long <laughs> it's almost like Peach Yoshi yeah <laughs> and um and the, the Marth player um told me that like I was asking him about it before like later and the Marth player told me that oh. if the game is going quickly then Samus is winning Oh, okay. I think the same thing goes for you know a lot of zoner matchups. So yeah. So for Pac-Man, I think that if the um, if the match is going quickly, Pac-Man's probably winning. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's honestly because, a good way to look at it. Yeah, because these characters have the ability to um, to like uh, slow down the game so much. I think Lucas is actually also another one of those characters. I think so as well. Um, he wants to space back with oh. his you know with his long range and. Um, and you know, keeping back with PK fires, which um, can be better if he's doing the wave bounce ones. Yeah, that'll oh, be that's it. That's a 3-0. 30 and a handshake. Good stuff from Joey. Okay, and I think we are actually on stream. Yeah, we're playing now. All right. <laughs>